He was a guy who was looking for purpose, I think. And then, and then what happened, I think, in, in, in getting HIV, that's what gave him the direct purpose. That gave him something for the first time to finish, you know, to not get to the end of something and, and, and abandon it, whether it be an invention or in a relationship or something. He got HIV, and that was his one clean purpose that trumped everything else in his life to say, I'm going to do what I can to survive as long as I can. We start um, not long before he finds out he has it, or is told he has it, and doesn't believe he has HIV. Um, and then Jean-Marc and I were just, you know, he had, he had some wonderful ideas. Again, he really tapped into the anarchy of the guy. You know, we, the, 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 this was not a, a guy, this, the, the, the violin strings are not out in this, in, in this story, especially in the first two acts. You know, this guy was, was wild. Um, like I said, he wanted, the, he, he wanted the, the money. He was dealing. He was dealing drugs, man. That's what he was doing. <laughs> he just happened to be dealing something that was helping people live longer that had, had HIV. And he was making money off of it. Like he says, he wasn't running a charity. So there was an anarchy to the guy. There was this really intriguing relationship between he and this transsexual Rayon. You know, and they're almost, they, they're, they're not roommates, but they, they, they collude, they come together. And that, if anything, was the love story, as far as relationship-wise, their, their partnership, the way they work together. Um, they're the odd couple. <laughs> I didn't really get to know Jared. I met who was playing Rayon, and I really appreciated how grounded he made the work, because this role is something that anyone could have caricaturized or overdone or tried to do too much with. And he kept it very human and grounded and it was very easy to listen to and him and he, he listened well. And it, so we were meeting each other. I met him as Rayon. So every day when I go to work and work with him, I was working with Rayon. Jennifer's got an elegance and a humanity where you just know that she damn well cares about people uh, and, and, and wants to do the best thing. Uh, she had a very difficult role. She had to be the character that walks the tightrope and can't really commit one way or the other. That's hard to do. Obviously, they couldn't have a sexual relationship, although I'm sure Ron, underneath his skin, if he wouldn't have been HIV positive, would have loved to. Um, so there's a sort of an almost sobering uh, 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 innocence in their relationship of just, as he says, man, nice restaurant. Good meal, beautiful woman. <laughs> I feel like a human being again. There's a there's an innocence and a sadness to the situation that's as portrayed there.